all good. Sorry about that. Nigga had some technical difficulties. But in, other than that, there's a few more things I want to talk about. Uh, uh, this is going to be a touchy subject, but it is what it is. So, how many of y'all are in situations to where you know a lot of shit and you want to know a lot of shit, but you feel like you can't talk to your parents about the shit? Or when you do talk to your parents about the shit, they talk to you crazy. Any of y'all in those scenarios? Anybody in here kind of young or not really all the way full adult and they, they can't really talk to their parents about some shit that they really know? I, so I'm going to give y'all solutions how to get by this and what to do. give y'all solutions I'm going to give y'all different solutions because you got the white solutions and you got the black solutions you got Chinese solutions and you got Mexican solutions I got to give y'all different type of solutions alright for the black people it's absolutely pointless to talk to your parents about what's really going on they brains are completely corrupted data they got programs inside of programs, inside of program, inside of programs. Don't even think about talking to an older black woman about what's really going on in the world. Don't. Just accept your mama is a fucking robot. That's all you got to do. Just go, my mom's a fucking robot and there's nothing I can do to fix her. So... What you do is, you have to get in robot mode. Don't talk to her about no woke shit. Fake like you really love the Bible. Fake like you want to go to church when you go to church, sing and dance and clap. Do all the fake shit. Do everything you fucking can because your objective is to get money out the bitch. Fuck everything else. You do everything she wants so when you really need, say, hey, mom, let me borrow 800 real quick. That man do all the right shit so you get some money out the bitch. Other than that, she ain't good for nothing. Nothing. She gonna die a robot. He or she, whether it's a mama or a father, he or she is gonna die a fucking robot. There ain't nothing you could do to, to change that. Nothing. You have to accept reality. It hurts, but it is what it is. You have to accept reality. So when you realize that your parents are robots, all you got to do is get money out of them. That's it. Money, 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 money. That's it. What you do is you blend in with all they bullshit. Talk to them about all they bullshit problems. All the bullshit. Like you really care. And all that. Then just wait till you have kids. And then when you have kids, you teach your kids the right shit. But other than that. Don't talk to no older black people about nothing. You, you wasting. Don't. All right, a black father, he might kind of listen. I ain't going to front. I ain't even going to hold you, right? Hold on, man. Why?
they doing? They hating tonight. Anywho, it's like I was saying, right? A black father, you might could crack a black father. You probably could crack a father. You would crack a father. You like, hey pops. Hey, let me really, really tell you some shit, pops. Like for real, for real, my nigga. Yeah, all this church shit and all that, that shit cool. But I, my nigga, I need you to watch this Hidden Colors 5. You feel me? I need you to watch Zeitgeist with me one time. Right. Well, Father Mike, you feel me? Because fathers are... Fathers is normally the ones that kind of let you slide with certain shit. Like when mom say don't don't let you eat no more cookies. You know, your daddy will slide a cookie under the bed or some shit. You feel me? Father, you feel, hey, I'm a father too. You feel me? My mom and my girl be like, hey, no more sweets for the children, nigga. And I'd be like, all right, nigga, I have an apple pie in the bed, all that. Nigga, the fuck you talking about? Here, here you go, say that. But what I'm saying is, like, right, fathers are a little more lenient to understanding, or a little more lenient to possibilities, right? Mothers, especially older black mothers, you can't tell them shit. You can't even show them shit. Actual facts. They brain so corrupted, they gonna disregard any info you got. They don't give a fuck if it's the truth. They don't give a fuck what you talk about. If it ain't Jesus, bitch, it don't count. An older black woman, like in her like 50s, Oh, if you ain't talking about Jesus, you the devil. It don't matter what you... I remember one time I was talking to my aunties. I said, auntie, man, you ever seen Horus and all that? I showed her a picture of the pyramids with Horus and all that. She said, that's devil worship. I said, oh, it's over. I said, man, you don't know about Thoth and, I, and, Thoth and Isis and all them and... And Sabanu and all them That's devil worship Don't bring that in my house I said oh shit It's over It's over over It's over My my auntie was so fucking programmed I went in there house with a picture of black Jesus she said if I don't get she don't even think Jesus could be black even though the shit give a description of a dark skinned looking man she still don't think Jesus could be black she got white Jesus all over her whole house I said this it's sad it's sad to another level of where they fucked over the girls oh god I said, all right, you know what? I ain't trying to wake these people up. Stop trying to wake your parents up, man. Damn, man, what they doing to my thing?
doing all type of shit to my streams. They hating. What's wrong with these people? For real. Y'all see this bullshit? They probably got an old black lady inside the Instagram office on my eye. We ain't about to listen to him disrespecting Jesus. Pause the connection. They got a old, they got a old 65 year old black lady in the Instagram office. What he talking about? He talking about what? Oh yeah, we don't like that devil worship. Pause, pause. So. To make a long story short, dear black people, if you're an up-and-coming child of truth and you know what's really going on in the world, but your parents don't, please don't even try to talk to them about nothing. Just live your life and wait till you have kids and make sure you don't indoctrinate them with this bullshit. To the white kids, the fucked up part about it, and this goes to all white kids that's woke, the fucked up part about it is your parents really know what's happening. They just not going to never tell you because they want to keep you with this indoctrination way of thinking so they can continue their way of living that is designed to destroy. So most white parents are extremely conscious. They really know what's going on in the whole world. They know what planet they came from. They know all type of wild shit. They just not going to never say nothing. So if you a white kid that's woke, you really know what's going on you really want to spread truth and all that which no white people do you very rarely get white people other than what's that nigga name joe rogan what's the other nigga name the other white nigga that got banned from facebook that be talking the conspiracy white boy what's his name what's the conspiracy one the other one that got banned i forgot his name he be doing all the conspiracy but they banned his white ass too alan alan some i forgot his name but truth be told, most of the white parents really know what's going on in the world. They just they don't never say nothing because they got to keep up with the white supremacy. And they might it, no see when we say white white supremacy, that don't mean you're racist. There's a difference between a white supremacist and a racist. A racist nigga is somebody that's like from Florida or something in the boon hickey that gonna call you a nigga. That's a racist person. Yeah, Alex Jones. That's a racist person. A racist person is going to say, you goddamn nigger. That's a racist person. White supremacy is a group of white people that want to keep up with what they have done to the whole planet. And it's a system so they can survive. It's, it's, it has nothing to do with the hatred of another race. The stupid people are racist. The smart people are supremacists. They want to keep up with what's really going, like how white people like to live and how white people live in Orange County and they have this secret society that makes sure Orange County stay the way it is. That It's not that they racist, it's just that they know they took the land, they know they did some evil shit, they know they fucked over a bunch of native motherfuckers, and they going to live by the white supremacy code to make sure they have somewhere to live. It's simple, right? So, the truth be told, most white people really know what's going on in the world. They just ain't going to never say nothing. It's actual truth. They don't want to say nothing because they don't want to lose what they have stolen. It's the truth. You can't be that stupid. Like, a white person can't be stupid enough to tell somebody to go back to their country. You can't be that stupid. This is part of an epic agenda. You can't, you can't be stupid enough to tell somebody else to go back to their country when you not from, you can't be that stupid. So I just figured this is a form of supremacy that they all, like the, the what, you, what the shit that Kaepernick was kneeling for, the national anthem, the national anthem is a fucking killer song. It's a song that talks about all the fuck over us shit. It's a victory. National anthem is white people victory lap. Right? So it's shit like that that they got in place that they live by. You feel me? 
like when we used to sing the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag at the, in elementary. What type of fuckery was that? I pledge allegiance to the flag, United States of America, in which it stand, under one nation, in which it stand. Damn. We was casting a spell on ourselves and didn't even know. I pledge allegiance to the flag, United States of America, in which it stand. In which it stand. Under one nation, in which it stand under one nation, in justice of God and for all. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, we fucked. Many who, like I was saying, most white people, especially white parents, especially white people that older white parents, not not the younger ones in their 30s, we talking about the 50s and 60s, the ones that lived through the real Martin Luther King slavery era day, them people really know what's going on. So if you a conscious kid or conscious white kid and you get it and you want to talk to them about some shit, and don't talk to them white people, man. Don't talk to your parents about no white shit. All you got to do is, and look, white kids, fuck the conscious shit, man. Enjoy your victory. Okay? Fuck all this conscious shit. Fuck this learning and people sleeping. I need to wake up. You white. Y'all won the war. Bitch, enjoy it. I don't give a fuck if you know what's really going on in the world. Fuck that, bitch. Use your white privilege to the to the credit run out. Stop trying to wake people up. Just enjoy it. Don't don't talk to your parents about what's really going on and people being asleep and woke. They already know. They just ain't going to say nothing. You don't got to talk to them about that, my nigga. Just enjoy your white privilege. Live in your nice orange counties and your nice big old nice white areas. Enjoy that. Now, to the Mexicans. Well, to be honest, I've never met a conscious Mexican person. No, for real, for real, for real. I never met like a like a like a third eye third eye essay. Hey dog, we we working on a third eye, dog. We learning everything, dog. I, I I never met a woke Mexican. Fuck, wait, I'm really thinking about this shit. I never met like an actual woke. Hispanic. Hey, dog, I'm just gonna go meditate today, dog. I swear to God, G. Nah, G, my chakras, G. Hey, little talker, fool. Help me light my chakras, G. Nah, not the shockers, G. The chakras, G. Help me align my chakras, G. Nah, fool. Meditate, fool. That's what I'm on, G. I meditate, G. Nah, I never, I never heard no, no woke uh, Hispanic. We need to find some more woke Hispanics, man. Hey, hey, man, we need to make an open call out to all the Hispanics. Man, any any conscious Mexicans out here, we need some on the team. I noticed that, man. I, I just noticed that. When I look at my comments, I see all white people, all black people, man, one or two Chinese niggas. I don't be seeing no Mexicans in here. Wow. Oh man, we need some more woke Mexicans. The Mexicans don't be giving a fuck about it. none of this woke shit. They trying to get the bag. Fuck all of that. Like, I'm about to go sell these pillows. The Mexicans don't be giving a fuck about nothing. What y'all talking about? All that woke shit. That shit don't mean nothing. Bitch, we trying to sell everything. Bitch, go get the ice cream truck real quick. She.
If I was a Mexican, I wouldn't want to be conscious. You're going to find out some fucked up shit and it's going to make you want to commit suicide. I wouldn't want to... i just regularly just be a Mexican out here in the world. You can't really... You Mexicans... Dear Hispanics, do not go down the rabbit hole. I'm telling you now. You're going to find out the worst shit ever. I got a homie that killed himself one time. I got a homie that I actually... And I, I'm... Like, I'm low-key sad just thinking about this shit. My homie Hector, he was actually one of the people amongst us when we first started studying this shit. Hector actually committed suicide. Yo, RIP my boy Hector, man. Like, Hector really committed suicide. Um, And now that I think about one of the reasons why he possibly could, like, because there's still no cause of why. But now I think about it, bruh, bruh found out that he was white. He found out that there is no Mexican, like, he's just white. Nah, when he found out everything about, like, Spanish, where Spanish come from, like, who created the Spanish language, how he was even made he did his background check on his lineage and where he came from like all he did everything and he said like once he really went down that rabbit hole bro he was like oh i'm getting out of here i can't take this shit i've been bamboozled Nah, Jews are most definitely also white, but every man, if you ain't black, you white. Look, I'm going to say this one more time. And I'm going to say this loud and clear. If you are not black, you're white. There's no, there is no in-betweens. Listen, 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 listen. Let me tell y'all this one more time. And I hope y'all really understand what I'm saying. There is no in-betweens. Dominicans, y'all niggas. Puerto Ricans, y'all niggas. Jamaicans, y'all niggas. Belizeans, y'all niggas. Black people, y'all niggas. Africans, y'all niggas. Everybody that got any form of color, melanation, you niggas. Anybody that don't got no melanin, you ain't a nigga. Mexicans is partially niggas. Mexicans are technically niggas, but they got 1% nigga in them. They like the last remainder, right? The Mexicans are niggas. They just watered down to the last level. Mexicans are niggas. They're actually natives, but they were bred with the conquerors so many times that they only got a percent nigga left in them. And if you notice, every blue moon, Mexicans will have a dark ass nigga baby. Every blue moon, bro, is because originally they're fucking niggas. But when the people came and conquered, they raped, then they raped the other breed, then they raped the next generation of daughters, slowly weaving out the black in it. This happened over many years of conquer and colonization. This is the actual facts. How do I know this? I never read a single book on this. I read all this shit in my own DNA. I told y'all niggas that. Tap in. But, like I said, my boy Hector really found out how Mexicans was created and what happened back in the days. And he was like, hey, fool, I'm white, G. I said, hey, G, you you technically a Columbus. You from the Columbus bloodline. He said, never, dog. I said, man, you from the Columbus. He said, nah, G, I'm native. I said, bitch, ain't no natives. Fuck you talking about? It's just only aboriginal black people and non-black people. Ain't no natives. That's a that's bullshit. He got to doing more research. He came back and said, hey, G, it is no Indians. G, is they lied. I said, they lied, bro. All the Aztecs and all them things, them niggas was black. Everybody, all that, all the whole South America was black. Then Columbus came and did fucking... Columbus came fucking. He didn't. They didn't slave people. They was fucking. They start fucking everything. They seen all them the tribal girls thick than the bitch. 
you got to think this. If you was Columbus and you been on the ship for about eight months with a flat booty ass white bitch from the 19th, from the 17th century, you get off the boat and see all these thick ass African uh, uh, motherfucking aboriginal bit, man, you going in everything. Columbus went in everything bareback. Everything. Man, they been on a boat for eight months with bitches shaped just like them. They been at sea on a boat for eight months straight with bitches built like Gumby. They got off the boat dick hard as a bitch. Man, you don't see that African bitch over there? Man, hey, check it out. Hey, Botswana. Botswana, check it out. Columbus got off the boat talking about Botswana. You single? Love is a cold nigga. He got off the boat. Fucking. They fucked all the Aboriginal. They was busting big nuts in the Aboriginal. They busting nuts in the kids too. They were trying to wipe a nigga. Look. I'm going to tell y'all a valuable thing real quick. Y'all, y'all think guns is mass destruction? Nah, nigga, a dick is. You Look, I'm going to keep it all the way real with y'all. <laughs> Y'all think guns is mass destruction. Guns don't de- guns and war do not destroy civilizations. I hope y'all know that. No, we about to get serious while y'all but start out. No, I'll fuck with y'all. But look, I'ma keep it real. Guns, guns and war don't destroy nations. Nope. It's the dick. The dick destroy whole nations. Y'all don't even understand what I'm telling you. The dick, a penis will a penis will wipe out a whole civilization. Y'all niggas don't understand what I'm trying to tell y'all. Look, if black men fuck all the white girls in the world. White people going to stink. This is actual facts. If black people start fucking... This is why all the races don't want their kids talking to black people. Because our genes is dominant. This is why all the other races be like... They tell their kids don't talk... They the only... Black people the only people that be like... Hey, you got a bad white bitch here. Fuck the bitch. Get her pregnant. Other races, oh, they be making sure they kids don't talk to black people because they know if they have a black baby inside of their genetic gene pool, they whole thing going to shreds. They know. See, white people, they got to fuck a bunch of generations to weave our genetics out. We need one fuck generation. Your whole family tree destroyed. One. We just need one nut. We need one nut. Your whole family tree destroyed. Everything you ever worked hard for out the drain, bitch. You about to have a Jason. You about to have a Taekwon in your family. Fuck your whole credit line up. One nut. One nut. You gonna have a little JJ running around that bitch. Little JJ, come here. See, white people, they we got to fuck, then bam, we get a light. Because when white people fuck us, we get a light skin thing, right? A little light skin, curly hair thing. Then that thing, the little curly hair thing, got to fuck another white person, and it's still going to look mixed. Then they got to fuck another white person, and then it's still going to look It got to fuck about three, four generations for you to get the black thing out, but it's still going to have curly hair. It's still, it's still gonna have curly hair. We just need to fuck one time. One time, genetic gene pool dominated. One time. So, I know we all conscious. Look, let me tell y'all something about this conscious community. You know why I don't fuck with the conscious community? 
I'm gonna tell y'all why I don't fuck with the Kaja community. Cause they always promote black old black. That ain't what we need. We don't need black on black. That ain't how we gonna win this war. We ain't gonna never win this war black on black. Cause how, first of all, how you talk about we need more black on black marriages? Bitch, you still talking in English. Bitch, if you ain't talking your native language, I don't wanna hear. We ain't even, we don't even got our native tongue. Fuck you talk about we need to stand up for our rights. Bitch, you still speaking English. We doomed. If we want to win anything back, we need to fuck all the white bitches. Bitch, find every snow bunny you can to bust big nuts in the We got to erase them bitches. We got to erase the next generation. Conscious niggas should go on a fucking spree. Fuck you talking about. We should do exactly what Columbus did. We need to go on a fucking spree. Find every snow bunny we possibly can and fuck the dog shit out of and get them all pregnant, bitch. We gonna start a whole civilization of motherfucking smart guys. Bro, we gonna start a whole civilization of genuines. Fuck you mean? You can you imagine a world full of genuine? Nigga, that's fire. Bitch, we gonna have a world full of genuines and Steph Curry's and Blake Griffin's. The whole world gonna look like Blake Griffin. We need more of them. Hey man, if we hey black people, let me tell y'all something. If we wanna win this war, it's only one way to win it. We got to learn, we got to erase the species. Find your little snow bunnies and fuck the dog shit out of them. If we want to win, we got to erase the species. This is what you're not understanding. Y'all not understanding. If we really want to win this war, we not going to win it by talking. We not going to win it by war because we don't have enough weapons to even fight nothing nowhere near the army. Black people don't have nowhere near the amount of weapons to fight the army. We ain't going to win it by war. We ain't going to win it by talking. We ain't going to win it by protesting. We ain't going to win nothing by nothing. Only way we could do it is get lit, be a famous ass rapper, and have 7,000 kids by white bitches. It's the only way we could win, G. That's it. That's the only way we could win. We got to dilute them. Then once we dilute them, then, then the black niggas start fucking. Because if, if a mixed kid have a baby, the mixed kid to keep on having more babies, man, eventually the motherfucker going to turn solid black. Man, I think I went too far. Hold on real quick, y'all. I think I went too far, yeah. I'm in Highland. Yeah, I went too far. I was supposed to turn on the next street. Um, oh, they got tacos right here. I want to get me some. Y'all be sleep on the Mexican tacos, bro. Hold on. And I got five. I think I got five. Let me see. I'm gonna give me some tacos, man. Fuck you, niggas, talk about. Oh, how much tacos? How much? One fifty. Yeah, yeah, let me have uh four of them. Four. What? What? what kind uh, of chicken. Yeah. It's for here to go. Uh, to go. Make that five. Five? Yeah. For here to go. To go. To go? Yeah. What you niggas talk about? Get my tacos. He fired up. Mmm. They got all the shits, look. 
Oh, this about to be fire. Hey, bro. I'll, not you. I don't, I don't answer DMs, bro. I support my, my message. Fire. Oh, look at that. My oh, mama, these are gonna be so good. That's sick. I'm a, oh, all right. I'll yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just get sauce and stuff. Okay. Oh uh, no, no drink. Yeah. Let me get my sauces. My mama. Fuck you niggas talking about. Sick. Oh, which 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 sauce is mild? Like uh, I I would say this is mild. Mild, okay. It's really hot. I want the mild. I don't want no hot. I don't want no hot. Yeah. It's, uh, guacamole. Yeah, I don't want you no. Get the guacamole. Yeah, I, I don't want guacamole. I just want regular. Regular sauce. Let me get lemons. Support my good old Hispanic people out here hustling. Now, real shit, right? I'ma just tell I'ma tell you why I always stop and do this. Cause look, peep this. Look where they at. They just on the corner. They found a random spot on the corner and just set up. Why ain't no black people doing this? That's all I wanna know. That's all I wanna know. Air nigga out here trying to be rappers and all type of stupid shit. These niggas out here making about thirty five hundred a night. That's all I'm saying. That's why I always stop. Why ain't no black people out here doing this? That's all I want to know. These niggas just found a random corner and set up a taco stand. Ain't no black people doing this. None. Absolutely none. None. Zero. No, oh, police, of course police gonna pull up if you out here selling tacos with the fucking music playing loud. Of course. Nigga, if you get out here with a little taco hat, nigga, and play some Mexican music, nigga, they gonna say this is Mexicans. Nigga, you gotta learn how to bluff it. Y'all niggas crazy, bro. See what street is this? I think this is the street right here. Set. No, oh, it might be down more. Hey, this is 7-Eleven I came to. Yeah, I think it's down more.
Anywho, going back to what I was saying, like a real nigga. I know what's going on in this world. It's set. I'm going to do everything I can to fix it. You know what thing that be killing me too? When niggas be saying shit like support black owned businesses. Bitch, we paying with white niggas on the dollars. Fuck you talk about support black owned business. Man, fuck you. I'm going to go buy for the Chinaman. Support black owned businesses. Bitch, you don't see George Washington on this dollar bill? Man, records. Mm. Let me see if there's a thing over here. It's gotta be one. Set. Oh, I'm good. Gucci. Man, I don't give a fuck about no black owned business. I ain't support shit. Fuck you. Bitch, you want me to support something black? Put your own face on the dollar bill then. Bitch, that I'll support. Feel me? I ain't even gonna tell y'all what I'm driving. You feel me? But it is what it is, though. It's a lot of shit I don't show online, but it is what it is. You feel me? I try to keep it clean. Try to keep it clean sometimes. Hey, my guy. What up, big dog? Chilling, 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 chilling. Man. Go to work. Typical. How you doing, bro? What up, bro? Yeah, um, um, punch, punch. Yeah, what was your name? Um, daylight. Daylight. Yeah. Cool. Just letting the assistant know you're here. All yeah. Right. All right. Let me grab my starburst real quick. Yeah. Hey. Please help yourself. All right, Luis, you got a food order mm -hmm. for me? You know what? Uh, what room we in? Uh, no, it's actually the assistant's gonna come out and grab okay. and show you back. All right. Yeah. It should just be one second. All right. Alright, we'll be I got work to do, y'all, so I'll go with y'all niggas in a minute. It's fake. 